It's another out of the road episode of the Weather Blender blog. This one's a little bit different though, because uh, yes, we're going to a school. We're gonna to go to a new school in Putnam County. It's called Mountain View Elementary School. But today, uh, it has a little bit more to do with the TV side of things than per se the weather part of things. So it's gonna be kind of interesting when we get there. We'll show you uh, some pretty neat equipment and some of the ways that uh, we actually get ourselves on TV when we're out in the field. Here we are. All right. Hi, Joe. Hello, Spencer. You're going to be in the video blog today. I am honored to be in Spencer Atkins' video blog. How let's, about that? Let's teach some kindergartners how to uh, talk 23,000 miles up in the sky. All right. I love the truck. It's just slightly big. And by the way, here, let's get the plug in. The Media Center. Yeah, today, so we're going to talk about how we get on TV from a live scene using a satellite truck. So we're going to get into that here. You just met Joe Stevens. We're going to set it all up and show the kids how it works. This is Mr. Lawrence. He is our photographer today. Mr. Spencer is going to be the reporter. And this is called a satellite truck. Okay, so we talk about satellites in weather. This is a satellite dish up here. Can you see that? That's the, okay, that's the satellite dish on the satellite truck. And that's up there beaming the signal to exactly the same area where the weather satellites are. Of course, the weather satellites are up there looking down on the earth. There are other satellites up there that receive this signal from Joe's truck, beams it back down to the TV station. That could be us, could be CNN, could be Fox, could be anybody like that. And that's how we get that signal from all these remote locations. Yes, even in hurricanes, a big truck like that can handle it. Now, who you'd like to be? You like to be LeBron James. What number is he? He knows what. And what team does he play on? Well, who else is? Who else is all six? After all, you people are six. You're not how old are you? You're five. But everybody else is six. Five and a half. Tell people how high now does the beam go up and where does it go? Right now we're hitting AMC5, yep. satellite that's stationary over top of Brazil. We've got 14 to 16 different satellites that are on the equator that we can uh, transmit from. It's 23,000 miles over top of Brazil. We're now pitching a signal up and coming back. So that's, if you do quick math, 46,000 miles in less than a quarter of a second. Holy cow, that's fast. The, the beam that we're sending out, if you can think of a pencil, it's about the size of a piece of lead in a pencil that's going up and coming back. And hitting a quarter, a, <laughs> a mirror the size of a quarter. I, why it works, I don't know. Good to see you all again. So the next time you see a live reporter standing somewhere, whether it's the Gulf of Mexico looking at the oil spill, or if you see somebody standing in a hurricane, it's a truck like that, a satellite truck, that's getting that signal up to space and back. And yes, as we mentioned, they are the same area of satellites up there in space sitting right next to the weather satellites. So they just do a different job. Kind of interesting stuff out there. Glad we could bring you a little bit of behind the scenes, how we do the news, and how that works right here on the Weather Blender blog.